Let's look at finding equations of lines. For example, let's find the equation of the line with slope 4 passing through the point 0, 2. Now we have the following point-slope form for the equation of a line. Namely, a line with slope m passing through this point x1, y1 has the following equation. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Let's apply this here. We're given that our line has slope 4, so m would equal 4. And we're also given that it passes through this point, which means x1 would be 0 and y1 would be 2. Therefore, plugging those values into this form gives us y minus 2 is equal to 4 times x minus 0 or y minus 2 is equal to 4x, or y is equal to 4x plus 2, which would be our equation. However, we also have the following slope-intercept form for the equation of a line. Namely, any non-vertical line can be described by an equation y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. Now in our example, isn't 2 here the y-intercept? Because x is equal to 0 and y is 2. So because our given point gave us our y-intercept, we could have used this other form directly. Namely, plugging in m is equal to 4 and b is equal to 2 into this form, gives us our equation y is equal to 4x plus 2, which is the same equation. All right, let's look at another example. Let's find the equation of the line with slope 8 passing through the point negative 1, 3. This point given now does not give us our y-intercept, so let's use the point-slope form. So we're given m is equal to 8, x1, the x-coordinate of the point given, is negative 1, and y1, the y-coordinate of the point given, is 3. So plugging those values in here gives us y minus 3 is equal to 8 times x minus a minus 1, be careful, or y minus 3 is equal to 8 times x plus 1. Now distributing the 8, we have y minus 3 is equal to 8x plus 8. And adding 3 to both sides gives us y is equal to 8x plus 11, which would be our answer. Now for some reason, students do not like to use this form. So how could we get our equation using our slope-intercept form instead? All we know is that m is 8 here, but we don't know b. So we have y is equal to 8x plus b. Now is it possible to find b? And it is because we're given this point negative 1, 3 lies on our line, which means we can let x equal negative 1 and y equal 3 in this equation here and we'll be able to find b. Namely, we have 3 is equal to 8 times negative 1 plus b, or 3 is equal to negative 8 plus b, or b is equal to 11. And now, plugging that in here, gives us the same equation, y is equal to 8x plus 11. So either way is fine. Okay, let's look at one more. Let's find the equation of the line passing through the points 1, negative 2 and negative 3, 6. Now this example is different in that we're not given the slope m. So what we need to do first is we first need to find m.
So we have the formula that the slope m of the line connecting the two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's let this be x1 and this y1 and this x2 and this y2. Plugging these values in here gives us 6 minus a minus 2 divided by negative 3 minus 1 or 8 divided by negative 4 which is negative 2. Now let's use the point slope form. That is, let's plug in m and x1, y1 into our form down here. Which gives us y minus y1 is equal to negative 2 times x minus 1. Or y plus 2 is equal to negative 2x plus 2. And these 2's will cancel, which leaves us with our answer of y is equal to negative 2x. Now we use this point here as x1, y1, primarily because that's what we labeled it originally when finding the slope. However, we could have plugged in this other value over here, this negative 3, 6 into this form as well, and you'd get to the same answer. Okay, and this is how we find equations of lines. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.